Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about perspective versus parallel projection views. I know we've talked about uh, both of these in Square End videos before. We've talked about camera settings, that kind of thing, a little bit, but uh, I really want to talk about how, where, when, why you use each of these view types. So we can explain some more, we can hop in, so let's hop in. Okay. So the default, in most templates, the default camera setting, if I come up here to camera, I look, is set to perspective. So what a perspective view is, is what it's saying is when I look at this, when I actually see this, there's vanishing happening. So there's, there's perspective, there's distance. So when I have a line that's further from the camera, it's smaller than a line that's close to the camera. See here, so this is a square. This is all perfectly, all these sides are the same, but if I look at it from the edge like this, this back edge is smaller than the front edge. That's what perspective does. It affects everything you look at in SketchUp. And SketchUp was designed with this view in mind. So we look at things in perspective every day in real life. When we see something that's far away, it's smaller than something that's up close. That's how real life happens. So SketchUp was actually made to keep that in mind. There is, however, the option to go up to camera and switch to parallel projection. With parallel projection, everything is the same. If, it, if it's, so here, right here, both these edges, the front and the back edge, are shown as exactly the same size. This is basically a flat 2D projection of everything that's in your SketchUp model. Now, this is not wrong. This is not a bad way to look at your model. This is just not, the preferred for a lot of people, not the preferred way to look at the model. The preferred way is to come in and work in perspective. Now, again, like I said, that doesn't mean it's wrong and it doesn't mean there's not uses for it. So the preferred way to do it in SketchUp is to work in this perspective view, doing all your work because it's closer to reality, that sort of thing, and then use a view like parallel projection for output. This means things like, you know, if I look at, if I wanna look at this, what's it gonna look like if I look at it directly from the side? this is where a projected view comes in handy. Same straight down, I wanna see what this is gonna look like in a plan, something like that. Boom, straight down, I'm getting straight lines, they're all the same size. This is like the ideal way to look. Some people also like the stylized look of like a three quarter view. So coming to a view like this where I'm looking at it from the side and having all those lines be parallel, that is kind of the look that you can get with parallel projection. Now, that's not to say, like I said, some people actually like to model in this view too, and that can be done as well. So I don't wanna take away from those people who do like to do that. There are some things that happen differently. So here's a big one. I'm gonna to go to my perspective view. Now the perspective view, SketchUp changes how it shows the geometry on the screen based on how far you are from it, how far the camera is from the geometry. This lets me do some cool things. So if I wanna take a peek inside this cube, let's pretend it's closed and I can't just look in the top, what I could do is I could start, I'm just scrolling my mouse wheel up towards one of those faces, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And what's gonna happen is my camera's gonna pop through. So right now I'm actually inside the wall of the cube. You can see here down the side. If I keep scrolling up against this wall, sooner or later I'm gonna actually pop through the other side and I'm now inside the cube. So if I zoom back out like this, I just went through this wall into the inside. That's something you can do when you're in perspective mode. Now, if I switch to parallel projection, like I said, remember, this is kind of a 2D uh, representation. I'm looking at everything just flat. So if I come in here and I just keep scrolling, 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 I'm still scrolling. I'm still rolling my middle mouse button up, like zooming in. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get a little bit of a flicker as, as my face is Z-fight, but I'm never gonna get that satisfying pop through to the other side. So that's something that only happens when I have the depth in my drawing that is given by the perspective view. Okay, there is one other option here. There is this two-point perspective. So I'm gonna click on, per actually before we do that, I wanna show one other thing. Another thing you can do with perspective that's kind of nice is I can come back to camera and use field of view. So with field of view, I can click and drag my mouse up and down and it will change the field of view. See how it looks like it's stretching out? that's just changing my field of view. So normally the default is right around 35 degrees. You can see down here in the lower right corner, rather than using this UI, I could click down or not click, I could just type in a specific field of view and it would jump to that. 
but this means I can come in and create more exaggerated field of views on that geometry to get myself a different look. So if I wanted something a little bit, a little bit more pronounced, a little bit bigger exaggeration between the near and the far, I could increase that field of view. If I want to go closer to that isometric view, I could drop down a little less, so there's not quite so much exaggeration between near and far. I'm going to go ahead and drag back to around 35 degrees, like I said, just, just kind of near that default. And I want to show this one other option. If I go to camera, there is this two-point perspective. Two-point perspective is not actually a view that you'll do work in. Two-point perspective is like a temporary representation. So what will happen, I'm just going to do it, click two-point perspective. It's going to jump me to this locked view. It says up in the, the, the upper left corner, two-point perspective. Um, and it changes my control. So it puts me in this pan. So if I click and drag, I can pan around. I can scroll up and down to zoom. But as soon as I orbit, if I click the middle mouse button and drag to orbit, see it jumps back to my perspective view. So that two-point perspective is sort of a locked view. It's putting you in that, if you've had a drawing class where you created two-point perspective drawings, that's exactly what this is, where I have two vanishing points and everything's aligned, so they, they go towards those points. This is a view you'd use for maybe a specific set of output or something like that. So it does have that perspective, but it is set up for that specific two-point perspective. It does lock it in right there. So not the same as the other two views, parallel or perspective. So hopefully that made sense. I, I, it can be a little bit obscure sometimes, uh, those, those different view types. Uh, sometimes people don't quite click with what is perspective and how does it work. Hopefully that sheds some light if you're one of those people. Um, again, I said that a lot of people default to modeling in perspective and use parallel projection for output. If you, if you don't do that, that's cool. I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong. I'm just saying a lot of times that is kind of how SketchUp was created. That's kind of the goal that was created with the tools to, to work in that perspective or in that, that camera view. But if you do it in a different way, that's cool. That's one of the great things about SketchUp, different ways to use the same tools. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Tell us what kind of view you'd like to use or if you have an idea for what would make a good video here on Square One. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.